Hey you guys, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review Pain and Gain starring Mark Wahlberg, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Anthony Mackie, Tony Shalhoub, Rebel Wilson, Ed Harris, Ken Shong, and Brian Stepanek. So Pain and Gain is directed by Michael Bay and the story revolves around <clears throat> Mark Wahlberg, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Anthony Mackie, the, they are these three bodybuilders that want to live, how you say, the American dream. So, the guys, they go after Tony Shalhoub, they kidnap him, they torture him, they want to take away everything from this guy, and they thought this plan would be easy, right? But it just goes terribly wrong. So, my thoughts on Pain and Gain, I know a lot of people hate Michael Bay, I myself personally, I don't hate Michael Bay. I mean, I'm not saying he's the greatest director ever, but the guy most certainly isn't a bad director. I just think people are being too harsh on him. Yes, he's made mistakes, but I don't hate the guy. That's all I can really say. And going into Pain and Gain, I was kind of excited to see it. Like, I know it was based on a true story. I knew it was Michael Bay. I knew he was going to kind of over-exaggerate this whole true story, which is actually a very tragic and really scary true story. I actually really enjoyed Pain and Gain. This movie was a lot better than I expected. I actually thought this was a really good movie. And this is actually one of the better Michael Bay films I've seen. And people hate on the Transformers franchise, but to be honest, I enjoy the Transformers franchise. They're just nice, fun, popcorn action, and those are the franchises where I do not focus on the storyline. The storyline pain and game, though, I thought it was well done. I got most of the good laps in this film, while there are some that try to go too overdone, but pain and game, I thought it was a lot of fun. I thought the action, of course the action is going to be over the top, but the action, I thought it was well filmed, it was a blast, and I just thought it was really cool. The acting all around, Mark Wahlberg, he's funny, it's nice to, it's nice to see him be that naive personality. I like Mark Wahlberg when he's in those kind of roles. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I've been such a huge fan of this guy for so long now and he is awesome here actually he's probably my favorite character second favorite character will actually be Mark Wahlberg people found him obnoxious and over the top and yes he was that but I found his character to be very likable I mean he was a horrible person no doubt there but I really enjoyed Mark Wahlberg for the character that he portrayed and Anthony Mackie is another actor I really liked in this film, too. I just thought he did a splendid job portraying one of the bodybuilders. Rebel Wilson, I normally get annoyed with her, but she actually, she actually wasn't bad here. Rebel Wilson was actually watchable. And then Tony Shalhoub, who we all know from the TV show Monk. I've only seen a few episodes of Monk, but... I found them enjoyable from what I saw, and it's good to see Tony Shalhoub again back on the screen, and his character was very mean. A lot of people in this movie were, well, D-bags, but he did a good job portraying that character. Yes, you do get a lot of slow-mo, you do have these, um, what do you call them, color schemes, color overflows, something like that. Honestly, that didn't bug me at all. It's a Michael Bay film, so you have to be aware of what kind of style this guy is going to have. And then, yes, we get the hot chicks. Hot chicks, very, very atrocious acting, though. And the reason I really like this film is because, yes, the action is over the top. The comedy is over the top, but it made me laugh hard because of how outrageously stupid and over the top the comedy is. And the whole storyline was really good. And then the movie, it goes from being this big action comedy film and to like this very, very dark drama in the last 30 minutes. And even when they try to reach for the comedy, it just didn't work anymore after that. 
because you know the situation the last 30 minutes what happened it was so dark it was pretty brutal and it was a little painful to look at and when they try to go for the comedy during the very dark scenes it's like, come on, really? This is a very tragic situation. You're still trying to add comedy in there, Michael Bay. Uh, the flaws I do have with Pain and Gain, there's not really a whole lot. According to a lot of people, there's a bunch. But me, there's only very few. I thought how it switched from a big action comedy to a very dark drama in the last 30 minutes. I thought how they switched that tone. It fell out of place. It actually felt a little awkward for me and I don't like it when things like that happen plus like I said when they try to reach for the comedy in the last 30 minutes it just kind of didn't work anymore and the thing about this film because of the fact that it's a true story and I know Michael Bay turned this into an action comedy I know the relatives of these victims they were very very offended and about this film because it was just too much for them and the relatives, I completely understand. They have every right to be offended by this movie. They have every single right to be outraged by this film. And even though some of the stuff shown in the film were like preposterous, they were basically all true. Even there was this one moment in the movie where they post this is still a true story. They actually do that at one moment. That was actually pretty smart because that one moment they did it, I didn't even know if it was real or if it was one of Michael Bay trying to add unnecessary scenes in there. And the movie can be quite brutal too. Like a couple of tortures that uh, Mark Wahlberg, The Rock, and Anthony Mackie do. It was a little hard to look at. You do have a few bloody images. Walking out of pain and gain, even though it is a ridiculous film, even though it's a fun action comedy, but yet based on a true story, I was actually quite disturbed uh, by this film because everything I saw at Pain and Gain, um, it had me thinking about the whole day about how scary some people can be, how very untrustworthy they can be, and... This movie just had me thinking about the serious and dangerous uh, world. Even though Michael Bay did turn this true story into an action comedy and it is disrespectful to turn a tragic event into something funny, it worked for me, but I definitely understand why a lot of people didn't enjoy this film. I was quite disturbed by the film because of all the true events that actually did happen. I am going to say Michael Bay did do a good job because while he did make it uh, far-fetched and over the top, he did a good job at least showing the true events. So, and I thought his directing style really worked. As for Ed Harris, Ed Harris, he was great. I would say Ed Harris is actually my third favorite character. I would say The Rock is number one. Mark Wahlberg is number two, Ed Harris is number three, Tony Shalhoub is number four, and Anthony Mackie is number five. Brian Stepanek, member Arwen from The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, that Disney Channel show, he is not in this film much, but when he was, uh, he was good here. Uh, the final problem I did have with the film was that the chicks, while well, most of them, they were hot, their acting was atrocious and it seemed like Michael Bay was just disrespecting women because really Rebel Wilson was the only woman I could actually say was good here. Yeah, Rebel Wilson. The one I get easily annoyed with. And for once, she actually didn't annoy me. Even when she was being Rebel Wilson the whole time, she actually didn't annoy me. She actually worked for me here. So... If you guys never see this film in your life, then you're okay. It's not the end of the world. But if you guys do decide to check it out, Pain Game, go for it. Go check it out. I'm not going to say I recommend it because some people are going to call this crap. Some people are going to be highly offended by it just because Michael Bay. This is going to be a pretty high rating. But I'm going to give Pain and Game three and a half 
out of four stars. Subscribe to my channel. Comment below and give me your opinion of the film. Like and share this video. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. I hope you enjoyed this and don't forget that I will always have Taga Power!